the canal goes back a hundred years, and it was first dug by a man named August Belmont, an entrepreneur. What he thought is that he could construct a canal that had been talked about since Pilgrim days. It turned out that it was narrow and shallow and windy and difficult, and economically it was not successful. But in the 1930s, we were able to turn it into the widest sea level canal in the world at the time with three iconic bridges so that when you think about this area, the Upper Cape, the symbol that comes to your mind is the Railroad Bridge, the Bourne Bridge, the Sagamore Bridge. Those are truly beautiful structures that represent this region. My name is Rick Gernon. I'm the president of the Massachusetts Maritime Academy. We're currently in our 360 degree bridge simulator. This simulates uh, a typical merchant ship or a passenger ship. We're actually going into New York Harbor. And I am Maria Oliva with the Cape Cod Canal Region Chamber, representing the communities of Bourne, Sandwich, and Wareham, and working hand in hand with Admiral Gernon to help bring about one of the best celebrations uh, in the country. The Cape Cod Canal celebration of the centennial of the uh, canal is just a spectacular opportunity to bring people to the region. The date is the last week in July, first week in August of 2014. We expect to have some events throughout that summer. Uh, we'll have tugboat parades through the Cape Cod Canal. We'll have tall ships visit the region. Fireworks, grand balls, uh, and many other types of activities and competitive races in the canal, including many, many people who are going to be in character in the 1900s helping people through all the events during that time frame. The whale ship Morgan, which will be newly out of dry dock, has promised to tie up here at the Maritime Academy. Uh, we're expecting a great summer celebration to bring people to the region to focus on what is an unbelievably beautiful natural resource that simultaneously has tremendous commercial value to the Commonwealth. With respect to the business community, I believe they could get tremendous value uh, for participating in any kind of sponsorship activities. We want to involve all types of small businesses in large companies to help raise the money to make this happen. And it's really important that the business community step up to the plate, help out with this event, and make it happen so we can make it as spectacular as possible. We're hoping that we are able to introduce people who maybe not have appreciated the canal for either its beauty or its value, uh, that they get to see our villages, meet our people, eat in our restaurants, uh, enjoy the banks of the canal, and celebrate the 100th anniversary of what's truly a spectacular engineering feat. Once they uh, know more about the Cape Cod Canal, they'll come back again and again and again. People are going to come before, during, and after the event. So surely there's going to be a huge economic boost to the region. I'd like to invite you to participate in what will truly be an event of a lifetime. We are going to celebrate in the summer of 2014 the 100th anniversary of the Cape Cod Canal. If you would like to be a part of this, whether it be a vendor, a member, a volunteer, a donor, please contact us at 508-759-6000.